Hello everybody, my name is Shortline614 and welcome to the second episode of Version 0 of the Cotton Belt Route in HO Scale. Today's episode is going to be about my locomotive fleet that will, hopefully, eventually grace the layout. This isn't my entire collection, so I've decided to limit this video to just Southern Pacific slash St. Louis Southwestern stuff with some other related roads sprinkled in. So let's get right into it. First up is my Scale Trains Rivet Counter EMD SD40T-2 with the Cotton Belt Road name. This was my first HO scale locomotive with DCC and sound. It came equipped with a, uh, with a lock sound 5 decoder. It's a great model. Um, anything scale trains river counter is excellent. It runs very well, has good sound, and for a long time was the flagship locomotive of my fleet. This is a Cotton Belt EMD Jeep 40-2 from Athern Genesis. I bought it for about $70 at a train show in Winchester, Virginia uh, last year. It was DCC ready, and I later equipped it with a 9-pin TCST1 decoder. Uh, it does not have sound. An interesting story with this model is that one of the window armrests fell off, and I was not competent enough in HO scale at the time to fix it. So when I went to the Big E train show in January of this year, I brought along with me and had Henry Rockman 1445 fix it for me. It runs quite well, however, my only complaint is that it makes the infamous Athern scream. Uh, so when it runs, it's a uh, it's kind of a whiner, but it does run fairly well at that. The next model is a Cotton Belt Bicentennial EMD SD45 T-2, also from Athern. This is a one of their ready-to-roll models. This was actually my first big HO scale model. I had dabbled in HO scale before this, but nothing too serious. I had bought it DCC ready and intended to qu equip it with a standard decoder. However. I have now decided to equip it with a sound decoder, a Tsunami uh, 2 TSU-21 PNEM8 decoder in a Soundtracks Minicube speaker will find their way into this locomotive. Uh, I have everything ready, I just need to put the decoder and the speaker in the locomotive and that will probably be a future episode so look out for that. The next model is a standard Cotton Belt SD45T-2. This is also an Athern ready to roll model, basically the same model as the last one, just different paint. I do plan on equipping this locomotive with DCC and sound, but this is an older model. It has a 9-pin plug, while the Bicentennial has a 21-pin plug. A similar decoder will go into this one as its twin. Currently, it's equipped with a TCST1 decoder, same as the Jeep 40-2. I bought this at the Timonium train show with 2026 Productions, and that was the first time I ever went to a train show, so uh, the buying of this locomotive brings back very good memories for me, and especially him. Speaking of 2026 Productions, this very interesting model was acquired in a trade with him. He gave me this, and I gave him a Bachman S100. This is a Southern Pacific EMD SD40-2 from Athern Ready to Roll. This was a real locomotive. After the failure of the SPSF merger, SP was not in good financial position, even with the merger with the Rio Grande. So one of the things they cut was the paint budget. That resulted in SP using extremely cheap paint that would peel off. This was one of the more extreme results. Uh, it was nicknamed the SP's Desert Storm Unit after Union Pacific's much more official Desert Storm Unit. It is DCC ready and I plan on equipping it with a Blue Nami decoder if I can ever get my hands on one. This model was also acquired at the Timonium Train Show. This is a Southern Pacific EMD SD45 and it's an Athern Blue Box model. Uh, as you can see, it's very crusty. It's missing some detail parts, but it does run. Uh, this is my go-to DC locomotive for layouts that don't have DCC. I bought it for about $40, and I got $40 because I was wearing a tunnel motor shirt, and the seller really liked me sh my shirt, so he gave me a discount of about $10. The original price was $50. I don't know. Maybe someone could tell me if I got ripped off. But uh, this, this is one of my favorites. It's a Cotton Belt EMD FT AB set from Intermountain. I can't remember what decoder it has. I think... I think it's a Digitrax one, but it does have a very, I know it's a very simple two-function decoder. I bought this at the Big E train show for about $140, which was a great deal because the dealer had a uh, major discount for locomotives that didn't have DCC or were DCC ready. Uh, he thought it was DCC ready, but when I got back to Henry's house, I was staying in his house, I opened it up and it had DCC. Uh, the retail price was about $200, so I got $60 off for really no good reason. Um, I'm not complaining though. One of the grills on the A unit did fall off and I was unable to put it back on at the time. I tried using standard model glue, which came out horribly. So I ordered a new part, uh, but it came in gray, so I had to spray paint it black and then use canopy glue to put it back on. It's not 
perfect, but it's only noticeable if you look super up close. It's not a fancy model, but I do love it all the same. Uh, and this is just a standard cotton belt EMD Jeep 7 from Bachman. Uh, I bought this during the last big meetup that I had. We all went to Star Hobby in Annapolis, and I bought this thing for about 65 bucks. It's very basic DCC, nothing fancy, and I wasn't really in the locomotive buying mood at the time, but I did remember this primarily to remember the meetup buy. These next three locomotives are what I consider the flagship of my fleet, which is strange because they are not Southern Pacific or St. Louis Southwestern. They are Southern Pacific Santa Fe, yes, the failed merger attempt between the Southern Pacific and the Santa Fe. Atherin made these a few years ago, and being a massive fan of, of the Kodachrome paint scheme, I, I had to get them. The first is an EMB FP45. This is the lead unit. All three of these locomotives are set up to run together. This is the only one with sound. The sounds are very great. I love it so much. Atherin made these as a part of their 70th anniversary set of releases, and I wanted one of these for the longest time. But when they finally shipped, I was disappointed because I said they were all out of stock. But I found one for sale from Hiawatha Hobbies and quickly snatched it up. The next two are the same locomotive, just with different numbers. They're both EMB SD45s. These were actually real. Uh, the Santa Fe painted up these in full SPSF colors with the lettering and all. The intention was to send a picture of them out to the press once the merger was approved, but we all know what happened and they were quickly repainted back into their normal scheme. They never left the San Bernardino shops. These came DCC ready and I later put Digitrax decoders into them. The only issue I have is the, uh, the handrails generally are prone to popping out, but nothing a little glue can't fix. All these locomotives run great together, they are a personal favor of mine, and uh, eventually one day I might put sound in the SD45s, but I'm not too sure about that just yet. Anyways, that is my locomotive fleet. Hopefully one day, one day these will be running on a layout of my own. Um, but thanks everyone for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.